say, okay, well, if God promised this, I can hold on to that promise and I can believe in that promise because it is true. It is yes and amen. So that brings us back. You got to be reading the word of God to see his promises, right? You got to know his promises. Like the whole name it and claim it aspect of the faith, hyper faith movement forgets this one part, right? They're like, oh, you need a new car? Name it and claim it and you get it. Yay! It's, it's not naming and claiming your own desires. It's naming and claiming God's promises. If God has promised it, then you can go after it. But if it's just some whim that you've come up on your own, you got to check with God first. <laughs> you got to say, God, is this beneficial to me? Is this something that will work? And that only way you can do that is by knowing his promises. And when we know his promises, that is our source of hope. You see, God promises us hope in times of despair. They remind us in the 